After completing this lesson, you will be able to explain what is a record-centric app, and recall key best practices for creating scalable process models in Appian. Careful planning is key to designing efficient and scalable applications. Appian applications are record-centric, which means that the core of each application is data structured using several record types that give a 360-degree view of a business. This impacts how you design both your application and its processes. For example, as a business, Acme Automobile, a commercial vehicle fleet, is represented through the combination of two record types, vehicle and maintenance. These two record types capture the essence of work at Acme Automobile. A record-centric application like this is not designed to keep data in the process, but instead, data should be saved to a record's data source as soon as possible. When you run a single process instance, all data captured by the process model, process variables, task properties, additional metadata, etc., is stored in memory. However, as with all software systems, your AppBeam platform is configured with finite resources for storing data. So it's important to build your AppBeam processes in a way that conserves the amount of space that these processes take up in system memory. To do so, we recommend building shorter processes or building longer processes in a modular fashion using start processes and subprocesses to break up longer workflows. This way, you'll be able to save data to the database tables quickly without keeping it in processes for a long time. A good example is a shorter process that allows a registrar to add a vehicle to the fleet using a record list action or update the vehicle using a related action. Let's analyze the new vehicle process that you'll build in this course. This process starts with the registrar kicking off the process of adding a new vehicle to the fleet. Once the registrar submits the add vehicle form, the process assigns a review task to the supervisors group. Notice that this process also includes a cancellation flow if the registrar decides not to submit the form. If a supervisor approves the vehicle, the process proceeds to the script task that records the date and name of the process initiator and then the process ends after all new data is recorded to the database. This process is a good example of a short Appian process. First, it has a limited number of nodes. Keep in mind, process models with a large number of nodes will have a larger memory footprint. Second, this process uses a limited number of process variables, which is also a good practice. However, even a process with fewer nodes, like this one, has the potential to be long-living. For example, this can happen if the supervisor forgets to complete her review. To ensure that this process is short-lived, I included an exception to the task. If the supervisor takes no action on any assigned task for more than 48 hours, the process will skip the approval step and will end after recording all key data. Now that you understand key considerations for designing efficient Appian processes, Let's discuss how you can save time on designing processes in Appian. Once you create a record type object, for example, the vehicle record type in the Acme Automobile app, you'll be able to create simple processes for common workflows by clicking Generate a Record Action. This will generate record actions for three common use cases, adding a record, updating the record, and deleting the record. Along with record actions, Appian will auto-generate default process models interfaces, and other objects needed for the entire workflow to work. As a developer, you can take the default process models and extend them using additional nodes and smart services available in the process modeler's palette. To conclude, you must absolutely use these helpful shortcuts once you are comfortable building process models and understand how application objects work together. However, this course will teach you how to build process models from scratch. This will make it easier for you to create or maintain process models once you join a real-life Appian project. Let's recap. Appian applications are record-centric. A record-centric app is not designed to keep data in the process. To design shorter processes, plan your app around record types and record actions. A solid process has a reasonable number of nodes and process variables. Configure tasks to expire or get reassigned after a time of inactivity. And break up longer processes using start processes and subprocesses. processes